I feel that the best photographs that I make are true reflections of myself. If I'm in a, in a situation that I'm curious about, I feel the need to make photographs. The best photographs make me feel like that, and sometimes they just seem magical to me. Sometimes you just, you just get it right. I started taking pictures when I was 14 years old and I, I really have never stopped. I, I set up a darkroom in my parents' uh, basement and uh, I was immediately taken by the whole process. I liked the tactile nature of film and paper and light and chemistry and trays and, and having a darkroom with a door on it and it's all part of it for me. If photography is a personal expression. I really believe that what you're holding, what you shoot with, what you run through your camera, how you process it, what your hands are doing, how you make that final print, what it looks like. I think that's all very important. And, and, and that, then it becomes craft. Los Toros is a 15-year exploration, photographic exploration, of the bullfights in Spain, Mexico, South America, and France. After college, I was uh, traveling around Europe with friends, and uh, we decided to go to a bullfight in Madrid and the famous uh, Las Ventas bullring. I, I knew right away that I was seeing something very heavy. I knew that I was seeing something very serious and something that was uh, far different than anything I had ever experienced. I was seeing the physical shapes moving around each other. I was seeing that there was a weight to this spectacle, emotional weight, historical, and I just was captivated by all of these elements. see that the interactions that were going on would, would be fascinating through the camera. I wanted the viewer to just see the shapes, to just see the shadows, to just see the expressions. To me, space and shadow, darkness, those are shapes to use, those are shapes to utilize. Uh, I've never understood them to be uh, a place in the frame that's empty of mass or element or a shape, it's, it's all part of the same composition. The book Dog Run was a three or four year um, project that, that looks at the intense play of dogs in urban dog parks. And so what I wanted to do was uh, shoot Great Danes in motion. So I, I went searching for one of those Great Danes and found one and, and started photographing this dog. And the picture that came out of it is, is maybe the goofiest picture of the whole book. The, the dog is chasing a ball and his ears are up and his legs are everywhere and his eyes are wide open and it's, it's so different than what I was going for but it, it did set the tone for the rest of the project. People weren't always that comfortable looking through 20, 30 pictures of dogs baring their teeth and uh, what I was seeing was was a lot of humor in the dog park, so I didn't want it to just be Arr, like that. I wanted some laughs out of it as well. And so I started concentrating a little bit more on photographing some of the goofiness that happens as well. I just kept shooting what I saw, which was dogs interacting, dogs going at each other, around each other. and. And as I was shooting and as I was looking at the film, I just remember just laughing at these, at these pictures. They're so funny. And the expressions that dogs make in, in the moment are, are just hilarious and they're intense and sometimes they look evil and, and it's all play and it's all posturing and everything, but 
uh, in those little snippets, they're, they're fascinating. that I call Mountain Ranch is an ongoing exploration of the beautiful and disappearing world of cattle ranching in the mountains of Colorado. I am fascinated by subcultures that are rough, a little dangerous. The series fits into my fascination with a timeless aesthetic, things that have been happening since even before there were cameras that are still happening today in much the same way. Uh, I do think it's important to, to have photographs of, of this way of life and, and, and including the land that frames their, their work and their life uh, because it's a good possibility that the land will even change with development. This next generation of ranchers may not be able to pass this on to their own children. Their own children may not have the option of choosing what their grandfather did and their father did. I do want to shoot what may be the last generation or second to last generation of ranchers in, in the mountains. Sin Tiempo is an ongoing series in which I'm looking for the coming together of a place and a person and a certain amount of light and the correct elements that, that combine at one moment to make a scene that gives no evidence of our current time. Photographs without time, photographs that don't reflect popular culture, photographs that don't give any um, indication of the era that they were shot in or even the place necessarily, but instead perhaps looks like an echo of another time or something that could be from any time. It's more of a concept that drives this series. I'm much more interested in, in a personal aesthetic and uh, I, I'm looking for something perhaps uh, maybe a little more romantic, maybe a little more dreamlike. If you take pictures for your entire life and you continue to work at it, continue to evolve even in ways that you don't, you don't evolve on purpose, you're just evolving. It becomes your aesthetic voice and I, and I think that's the process by which it has happened for me or continues to happen. I don't think that it's a, a process that you ever reach the end as long as you're working as long as you're looking and trying to learn things I think that your your own aesthetic voice will continue to evolve as well. I think that all of the series that I work on have at least one element in common which is the the timeless aesthetic the fact that I'm still learning and still taking a great amount of satisfaction and joy and happiness out of making pictures says a lot about having found the right medium for myself at an early age. I, I, it, it can't have been just an accident, you know. I was, I was taken by it from the very first time I saw a picture come up in the trays in the darkroom. The very first time I realized that you can 
take film out of a camera and, and turn it into these other things. It's, uh, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful way to, to use my hands, to use my brain, to, to explore and discover new aesthetic ideas and preferences and methods. It's just, it's just been wonderful for me.